Hello everyone, and welcome back to a surprisingly laggy gear mage. Today, we're gonna be working on trying to get our refinery up and running. Um, as you can see back there, there's no refinery. Um, there's obviously other things on the to-do list, and I think the biggest problem with the refinery will just be uh, how much glass it will cost and like building material costs. Um, but outside of that, the refinery should be really easy to build. And once it is operational, everything else will click into play. Uh, so let's get started. So this is, oh my God, the impressive amount of lag. This is where, we'll, where the refinery will be placed roughly. God, the pigs and skeletons, like there's no skeleton here right now, but it's typically the skeletons that scare me, but this time it's just the pigs, so I guess it's a vague improvement. Um, Jesus, I am realizing I have like no food. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me just solve the food issue right real quick. The refinery, I'm thinking, will be probably made out of, um, I'm gonna say maybe hempcrete, or something else really cheap to make, but like, that looks nice and is sturdy. Uh, simply because, like, cheap building materials that are sturdy are always appreciated, <laughs> especially when, uh, we have things I believe these uh like the like build craft engines can explode but I don't know don't you dare run in that wheel thank you <laughs> anyway uh so I'm actually not certain if uh they'll explode or not uh if like they overheat um I might honestly want to ask about that before I like set out building them. Oh my god, the lag though. Another thing I'm definitely thinking about is starting some form of garden. Cause like, we need that. We need to have a garden. Uh, simply because our current farming situation is kind of less than adequate. <laughs> Another thing I just thought about is because we have no deserts that we can source uh, easily, we're probably going to need to find another way to source uh, our potential sand. Um, we might be able to find some sand in the swamps over here, if I can get over there. Um, but I think most of what's in the swamps are mud and dirt. So I'm I'm not certain. I'm not certain that we're going to have a good early game supply of sand and we might need to we might need to open up a whole bunch of sag mills and uh, power them somehow to make enough sand for what we need to do. Yeah, this seems to <gasps> Oh no. No 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 that is I don't like those. Okay, they stop following me. Jesus, that's so close. Oh I'm gonna need to fight that. Okay, so for anyone who didn't see that, that is a Thomcraft portal, I think. Anyway, uh, it's got some pretty powerful enemies, um, especially the wizards that will spawn from those portals. Uh, like the knights we have our advanced alloy sword for, but the wizards I believe can spell cast while they're stunned. So yeah, we probably need gun. We probably need a big old gun to deal with that. Um, <laughs> So that's fun. <laughs> that's a uh, meeting the neighbors. <laughs> so I think I am going to make those sag mills now. Um, I think they should be cheap. 
They might cost a, a few grains of infinity, but that isn't like any like actual costs. So yeah, uh, we can attach them probably here. Um, and then we can just load any spare cobblestone in. Uh, the one problem with that that you might be able to notice already is that loading spare cobblestone into sag mills uh, for glass does take away from the amount of cobblestone we have to make other ma like needed materials so we're kind of in a predicament in that regard okay so i have a plan i'm going to start the quarry using a redstone generator a uh, redstone engine rather um and I believe I'll be able to run it with this. I believe you can run a quarry with this. Um, actually, no, okay, I think you, you do need the combustion engine. I did pick it up. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, this, I, I need to place this in a different position. For all intents and purposes, it's a, uh, a little wonky. <laughs> um, what I was gonna say is, for all intents and purposes, the quarry can be active now. Um, yeah, we can pump water in through the side or top, and fuel in through the side or top. Anyway, so it can put a pump up here or I can get water from down there. I think I'm gonna opt for that uh, or, or, or for the water up here just to save on resources. Um, and then uh, we can start bringing, like we can have a pipe that brings fuel from over there, over here. Um, and then after that, all we need is to have a pump over here. Um, and, or, yeah, over here to pump it into the refinery space, which will be built. And then, yeah, we'll have infinite fuel, essentially. Anyway, um, on top of this, hold on, let's not die on the way down. Let me run over to the being built uh, uh, warehouse. <laughs> I like how a lot of these structures are work in progress. <laughs> Makes me look really professional. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, we have the warehouse right now set to gathering cobblestone on this shelf here. We'll be gathering iron ore on this shelf because we are not even going to be using that building. I've already disconnected the pipework and then everything else will be gathered down here. Uh, I can obviously add another shelf over here and we'll be filling in this uh, like hopefully we'll get enough cobblestone from this that we can start really um producing buildings because that's something i realized that we have a near crippling cobblestone shortage which should never be an issue people face <laughs> um of having so little cobblestone we can't actually reasonably build structures or make products so yeah that's why i'm prioritizing starting the quarry quarry starts and we'll gather some rudimentary resources like iron and cobblestone they'll be sorted out obviously and then we can look at um turning on some buildings finishing some structures uh and other good stuff it's a funny story, I just realized that we are in fact out of iron, so we're gonna babysit this, uh, uh, actually no, okay, wait, I think, I'm trying to think, I don't think we, I have two iron ore, 
uh, and that will be able to give us four iron. Um, but we, I think we need more than that for a pump. So I do, yeah, I think we're going to have to babysit this. Oh no, maybe the digital miner like has profit and I just haven't looked in it. Anyway, so let's build the um, little pond that we're gonna use for, let's not break our necks. Not break your neck. Not break your neck. Hey, we didn't break our necks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not stressed. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't scare me. What are you talking about? I, I wasn't scared of falling off the super precarious ladder and 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 fucking dying. <laughs> what me? <laughs> Okay, so we have infinite water. We can now babysit this to make sure it doesn't like critically fail. Um, I'm gonna say the pump will probably go here. It'll probably be for redstone engines, or, like the, the usual pump stuff. Um, and then we can move, then we can have fuel coming up through here roughly. Um, we can actually probably get closer right about there, and just to make sure... Jeez, I almost fell into water and like that scared me. <laughs> anyway, just to make sure we don't fall off, we can put up some rudiment rudimentary railing. Um, and this will simply serve to make sure we don't accidentally, uh, as Stress Lizzie says, break our necks. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why I specifically, like, picked breaking necks as, as my fear, but, you know, that's what I did. Anyway, this should make us safe, and, and ooh, look, we can even put a lever here. So, yeah, I think, yeah, we can babysit this. You guys won't see much of it. We just need to babe. I just need to babysit it long enough to get some more iron, and then after that, we can set up a pump here, and potentially a pump over there, and this whole process will go super smoothly. Okay, we have two buckets of gasoline, uh, gaseous fuel, sorry, I almost said gasoline. Um, it's a different item. I think it's pink, actually. Um, anyway, that means we can officially turn on the quarry. Um, and so that's awesome progress. I, uh, I think this is a big moment, actually, because uh, this is like the first, like, massive thing, like, that will seriously improve our production. So, uh, let's see how much water we oh, why is help on? I may have turned help on another thing. Anyway, so let's, um... Turn it on. Oh, that's, ah, oh, that is satisfying. We are six episodes in and just got our quarry up and running. To be fair, we encountered a handful of issues, uh, but I don't know, I'm, I'm weirdly proud about this. Uh, regardless, I'm going to begin babysitting. I want to, see like I, I, I want I want to be recording when like it uh, when the rig turns on like it's it's currently constructing but like when it actually like starts mining mostly just because I want to make sure everything is functional really oh there it goes hell yeah all right um, 
Well, that's good. Uh, and we should be outputting wood. Yep. Look at that go. <laughs> anyway, this is... This is big moment. <laughs> Why did it take so long for us to get the quarry working? I don't know, but this is big moment. Um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay babysitting. Uh, I will hit you with a progress update when the trees are gone. I missed the water. This is actually the first time I died in the entire series, so... Uh, it's laggy. <laughs> wow, why is heaven so laggy, guys? <laughs> Guys, heaven's laggy. <laughs> Don't go there, it's on uh, East Asian servers. <laughs> uh, my ping's low, guys. <laughs> I'm in the water now. Anyway. Uh, jeez, if I equipped this stuff, I guess not. Um, anyway, so we haven't even gotten past the trees. I'm gonna need to turn that death beacon off. Uh, we haven't even gotten past the trees though, which is news, I suppose, because like I would have expected, like uh, I've been standing here for roughly 15 to 20 minutes. I think it's been nighttime once and it'll be nighttime again soon. Uh, but I, I, I could be wrong. I, I wasn't paying that close attention. Regardless, I'm surprised at how long it's taking to get past the tree line. Uh, building the uh, quarries above the tree line might not actually be a viable option as it turns out. Also, we went from 30-something levels to 7. That is absolute, just brutal punishment. Like, I know you uh, don't get to keep a lot of your levels and all, but jeez. That is some brutal punishment for dying. For some reason, I can't gather the goddamn oil. <laughs> I'm, I'm a heaven's low ping, guys. <laughs> um. <gasps> oh, shoot! <laughs> okay, oops, almost blew up. <laughs> that, uh, oops. <laughs> That was a mistake! That was an oops! <laughs> Jesus! Casually about to blow up our still. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to work and uh, not blow up our refinery. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Why am I grabbing sets? I need. 64. Uh, I suppose I should look up if um, you can use combustion engines uh, to power the um, refinery piece. Um, that way you can affect... Jeez, ow. Not ow, but that's annoying. And I'm lagging too. One second. I can't remember what I was saying before my game lagged. Anyway, uh, something about um, powering refineries with combustion engines so we could potentially infinitely power uh, refineries. That sounds about right. Anyway, we're almost out of uh, 
uh, like fuel before we need to actually start finding something for this like heavy fuel or heavy oil or whatever it's called. Uh, and in that case, we're going to need to either use it on something or I don't know, <laughs> use it on something or store it somewhere. Um, I'd be more than happy to, uh, figure out how I could, like, utilize stuff like that to its fullest. Can't you, um, cool it off in some, like, steam chamber and then, like, use it somewhere else? I don't know. Um, regardless, I'm not really in the mood for, like, dealing with the residue, so I need to figure out what to do with, the. Uh, the, like heavy fuel guys my PC is actually warm I think this mod pack is legitimately deadly to computers <laughs> like in season one so many people had technical issues with this mod pack and now like my PC which is really good and doesn't heat up all that much like I've put it like I've played some seriously intense games and it has never been like above room temperature is now legitimately warm <laughs> So, uh, hmm, that's a, that's a big hmm. Cool, we just had a meteor land over there. Uh, um, let's check it out, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna mine it right now, because I don't want lava to spill all over the place, but... I mean, we can kind of look and see if the meteor is, like worth mining right away uh maybe i don't think it's gonna have like the cool core that like has all the cool resources i don't know maybe um not really worth mining right away in my opinion um but we'll we'll mine that later for meteor gear i'm gonna say when this thing reaches ground which is roughly any minute now um that i'm gonna call the episode just because uh i have uh, other things to do called an actual life so <laughs> um you know when this thing gets to the ground i'm gonna call the episode and uh yeah that's, that's the plan oh god damn it i did it again. No. <laughs> no. God damn it. That, I don't know why that breaks it. I mean, I guess it makes sense for it to break, but still, like, if, if like, a machine just got, like, covered in, in water, I suppose that would break said machine. And I am lagging for some reason. Alright, that should be the water that... I mean, the fuel it needs. Okay. Is this on? No. It is now. <laughs> anyway. This looks surprisingly cool from this angle. Like... <laughs> this, this looks surprisingly cool. Like, I, I wasn't expecting it to actually, like, genuinely look good from, like, a lower angle, but here we are. <laughs> this is... disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why, but that looks really gross. <laughs> and it's made it officially to the grand level. Hmm. I... So, with that being said... Uh, I think I might do a tiny, teeny amount of work off camera, um, but I don't see a great reason to, and that's pretty much um, the, the work I'm considering doing off camera is pretty much just making this functional, um, uh, basically making it where the uh, gaseous fuel uh, will automatically go up 
but I, I honestly think that something that uh, deserves to be included, if only for like a few seconds, in the episode where I actually uh, build up like the aesthetic part, not just the aesthetic, it will have functionality, but mostly aesthetic part of the refinery. Um, because right now it's, it's functional for what I need, but we're going to need we're going to need fuel silos and also to decide what to do with this um, heavy oil. Um, I think there's other refining processes we can do to get um, better products with heavy oil. Um, but at the moment, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, and as well as I want to probably look at getting like a tank sorry it's gonna take a second for me to get up here uh a tank at the top of this little like incline so we can either set up a pump up here or just have a whole bunch of water i'm not sure if you can pull from a tank i imagine we can and if we can we can just set up a like a tank back here for us to like fill with water and then it'll like pump into the um, combustion engine here so we can walk away for longer amounts of time without thinking that our engines are about to blow up or like overheat rather because I still don't know if they blow up or if they just don't function while they're overheated. Um, uh, one thing that I'm definitely looking forward to is setting up a pump over there. Uh, and when I set that pump up, I'm going to need a lot of fluid tanks just to contain the absolute mess that is this oil. <laughs> We're, we're probably, I, I'm not sure how we're going to contain all of this oil. I think we might need to level this hill over here just to contain the oil. And I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, <laughs> uh, cause that is a lot of oil that needs containing. Um, and then once we have that. Uh, we, we shouldn't need to go chasing more oil deposits. Um, we shouldn't need to chase more oil deposits for a while after that. Um, and we should be able to just like, I'm, I'm looking at making another uh, still just to make it where we can produce uh, gaseous fuel faster. Um, and then we can like, turn them both on, output tons of gaseous fuel, and then like have one on like regularly and like the other on for like when we need a little boost. Anyway, um, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Let me walk precociously around that. Uh, because, like, that's gonna have to be it for today's episode, simply because, like, uh, like, I thought baby, like, I thought the babysitting would be, like, you know, take a while, but, like, it would be, like, you know, 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes, something like that. It was an hour and a half of babysitting that, uh, 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 Corey, which... I don't mind, <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> that was an hour and a half of doing basically nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to call the episode here simply because that was an hour and a half of doing basically nothing. <laughs> Anyway, next episode, we can look forward to uh, properly building the refinery, getting that power grid I was uh, talking about up in the last episode. We can look at actually getting that up as we have broken ground over at the quarry. And um, 
uh, with the quarry like actually breaking ground that means we'll start getting resources and those resources can then be turned into tons of equipment yeah we have the digital miner that gives us resources but the quarry is just going to spit resources at us and that's going to be good on the topic of the digital miner before we go i want to check because i do Ooh. well look at that <laughs> well look at that um well that's something for us to do next episode <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call it here, uh, folks. It had not... I don't know what F4 does. Hopefully nothing. Uh, I will catch you all in the next episode. Uh, this was Lizzie playing Gear Mage. See you later.